There are two things that we humans get to enjoy in our learning uh, that uses your entire brain. One of them is learning an instrument and participating in music. And the other one is learning a new language. In that exercise of learning an instrument, it, this is scientifically proven, it expands your brain power. It makes you smarter. So it's, it's a bewilderment to me why music is one of those things that is one of the first things that's cut from education in our public schools. And so that's why I, I started the Snowman Foundation uh, to try to bring that back, um, more awareness about how important music is, and also raise funds uh, for that activity. Uh, one of the things I do as a, as a teacher um, of music is I teach kids how to practice. And in that activity, I'm, I'm just also just teaching them how to learn. And I'm also teaching them how to discover who they are as a person, and also to be nice to themselves. So my whole philosophy in learning an instrument starts with be nice to yourself. So when you're nice to yourself and you're working on a, a new song and you're trying to get it, most of us try to move our hands uh, at a tempo where we'd like to try to hear it. So your hands are going too fast for you to understand. So what I teach my kids is this phrase, find your tempo of understanding. What is your tempo of understanding? What is your input speed? When you find that, what happens is that feeling of frustration goes away. The way I describe it to my little ones, I said, like my little six-year-old students, I said, let's take a giant rubber band and just pull it out all the way as hard as we can where all the tension is. That's how you feel. You feel frustrated because you're not getting it. Well, let's slow down to a tempo where you understand it. What's happening to that rubber band? Ooh, it's not as tense. It keeps going away. Then we repeat it over and over. And the more we repeat, 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 that feeling goes away. And then instead of just learning the notes, it's so familiar, you're making music. And then you're happy. And then you want to stay there and learn more. So that principle I try to teach my students to take that out and use it in all the other disciplines. What's interesting about music, music is the number one thing in a complete education that supports humanities, that supports science, math, social studies, et cetera, et cetera. It is the key component. So for me, Part of that complete education, every child should participate in some way. It's not to become an expert or professional like me. It's to become a better person and a better learner. So in that act of learning or practicing, there's a certain amount of time where you're able to focus. Your focus power might be about this big. When you really learn how to find your temple of understanding, you can stay in that focus longer, and then when you start to get away from that focus, take a break. Just get up maybe for 30 seconds, walk across the room and come back. It's reboot, and after you reboot, you go back into that focus. And what happens over time, over years, that focus power was here, all of a sudden your focus power is there. And this is why kids who participate in music do better on tests. Again, these are not just studies. This is scientifically impro uh, proven. And so that's uh, my main platform with the Snowman Foundation about how important music is to a complete education and also a way to find who you are, how you fit into the world, especially in group activities, whether you're singing in the choir or you're playing in an orchestra. Um, there's activities like being in the French club, uh, in the chess club, whatever it is. All those social activities, being on the football team, being a rally girl, whatever it happens to be, those are the activities in school where you make memories and you accomplish goals as a team. And that's where you build community. 
that's the biggest place where you can build community. And I think music is like the number one place where you can build great community and citizens. I've got some great young citizens here on the, on the stage that are going to help me with the music segment. I was, I was asked mainly to come and play uh, some music for you today, but I thought I'd just talk a little bit about my platform and my, and my foundation. But we've got some wonderful young people here. We have uh, Amaya Samoli and Katie Palka and Jason Kowalski and Alexander Wild. Uh, also joining me at the end of the music segment is my niece, Anna Hines, and then an incredible singer, uh, Haley Johnson, uh, who's one of my favorite singers in the whole world. She's a great singer-songwriter, and she's very diverse. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Linda Ronstadt, and uh, she's just uh, a world-class young lady. And when I wrote uh, the, the last song that you're going to hear today in my segment, it's called Calling on Angels. When I wrote that, I could only think of Haley's voice for it, and it's just perfect. Uh, I wrote this song, uh, Calling on Angels, uh, last fall. It was kind of during a time where a lot of things are heavy on our hearts. And, uh, and this week, again, one of those things that happen in the world has been a little bit heavy on our hearts. And today, there are lots of memorials and funerals uh, back in Orlando. And uh, so this music segment is, is dedicated um, to those who are fallen and, and, their, and their families. Uh, calling on angels is a call out to the angels who are following us to be there for us. It's a call out for us to be angels to each other. And also, it's a call out to be an angel to yourself. I really believe the nicer we are to ourselves, the nicer we are to the rest of the world. So here's calling on angels.
Calling on angels, your wings my shelter. Calling on angels, following me. I hear your voices lifting my spirits, whispering love songs of beautiful dreams. When we're together, we can move mountains, calling on Never alone. Raise your hearts in the deep sunrise. All of our fears can be laid aside. And love arrives on my. Spurring love.